Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we're going to learn how to lock down the RV325. And you'll go into your DHCP setup here, and then go into IP and MAC binding. Now, every router has something similar to this. It would be MAC binding, you know, or MAC filtering, wireless MAC filtering, binding. This is very useful. So anyway, if you want to lock down your RV325, you could go into your, if you're set up as DHCP, um, you can look up status and then you can look under status table. There'll be a list of stuff here if you have DHCP enabled. Let's try to lock this down. So what you do is you, you go into your DHCP and you'll have the MAC address here. You copy that. And then you go into your IP MAC binding and then you hit add. Type in the new IP address that's not in use. You'll need to find out if it is. You'll ping it like in the command prompt you would go. So then I would actually type in, you know, 10.0.0.57, tab, the MAC address, then whatever it is. And then click enable. So then the next time the system boots up, it's dedicated. And this is the only IP address that it'll ha ever have because I'm I'm actually binding it via the MAC address, okay? So the other two features on this list are very important. Block MAC address on this list with wrong IP. They can't connect. That's huge, okay? The other thing is block MAC address not on the list. So. If you don't want, like for argument's sake, I have DHCP clients. If they're not in this list, if I check this box and hit save, anything that's not in this list will never have access until I add it to the MAC address list, which is huge. All right, so that's locking down your router, making sure you don't have unauthorized users on your network without your knowledge. So this is what you would do to block it down, to lock it down and nothing else. You could do both if you want. And this will really lock the crap out of, and nobody will be connected until you log in, add their IP and their MAC address to the device, and then we'll have access to, uh, uh, have their access to it. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Creative Labs iRaw. Plug it in like, like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger, and it's big, and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. Now you can create the RAID array. I mean, for the, for the price difference between the two,